A rough surface is inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal. Find the total work done when a body of 6 kilograms is pulled up at uniform speed distance of 16 metres up the surface by a force acting along the line of greatest slope. The coefficient of friction between the body and the surface is 0 0.4 and the only resistances to motions are those due to gravity and friction. So first step would be to draw a diagram. So I've drawn this diagram. I took this diagram from the app that I made, which I'll show you at the end. So the box um, block started there, or the body started there, and is ended up here, having travelled through 60 metres up this plane of 30 degrees. So if we put on the forces that we have, we have 6G acting downwards. We have the resultant perpendicular to that. We have a uh, frictional force of mu r, and f would have to be equal to mu r in order for this to move at a constant velocity. Okay, so if we resolve, first of all, perpendicular to the plane, we're going to have that r minus 6g. Now, the uh, vertical component... Sorry, the vertical component would be this one here, where this is 30 degrees, so this will be 6g cos of 30 degrees. So minus 6g cos 30 degrees would be equal to zero because it's not moving in that direction. That will give me that r is 6g cos 30, and the cos 30 is root 3 over 2, so we'll write 6g root 3 over 2. 2 goes into 6 three times root 3g newtons. The uh, frictional force is going to be F is equal to mu R. Well, mu is 0.4 from the question, so that will be 0.4 times R 3 root 3 G, which gives me a frictional force of 1.2 root 3 G newtons. We'll leave it like that because we're going to need that. So that force is needed to move that uh, body through a distance of 16 metres. So the work done against friction, this one here, is going to be 1.2 g, sorry, 1.2 times root 3 g times r 16 meters, and that gives me 325.9 joules. Now the work done against gravity. So here's gravity, and it has moved a distance of. Uh, 16 sine uh, 30 degrees because this angle here would be 30 the same as this angle here and therefore this distance here that it's moved up uh, against this uh, weight here will be 16 g times 16 sine 30 so the work done against gravity is going to be 6g times 16 sine uh, 30 degrees which is 470.4 joules. So therefore the total work done is going to be 325.9 plus 470.4, which is going to give me 796.3 joules, or 796 joules to three significant figures. Okay, so all this can be seen using this GeoGebra app, and the link of this GeoGebra app I will put in the notes of this video. So here we have this uh, GeoGebra app. If we just zoom in a little bit there. Okay, so the zoom didn't really work. Okay, so we're going to have that. This is... Uh, the block, this is where it's moved, okay, 16 meters. If we want to see this, we can move the sliders for other angles and different weights, okay? So I'm just gonna show you how this works so you can look at it for yourselves. You can change the value of mu, you can change the distance traveled. Now, if you wanted to, you could reset it and start it and you can actually see its motion and you can see the uh, amount of work increasing as it moves up. Notice it actually has to move with a constant velocity. If you want to check the vertical distance as it moves up, you can see that as well. And it will actually display it. If we bring it back down a bit so we can actually see it. We can actually see, therefore, at this point here, it's done 
465 meters. So anyhow, you can see this GeoGebra app in the notes of the uh, video. The link will be there. And I hope you've understood. And I thank you very much for watching.